guys. Just finished the Maxtrax table install. Uh, probably the most daunting, but the easiest mod so far. It was pretty simple to do. Just had to take that inner lining out from the uh, cabinets area. Um, make some measurements on the back here, which I'll um, run through on the video. Um, yeah, drilling those holes was a little bit daunting, but probably the hardest one was the first one. Get that one done. And then yeah, easy sailing from there, but just making sure that you did get those um, positioning right for those things. But um, yeah, it's come up bloody awesome. Pretty happy with it. Nice and sturdy. Definitely gonna get used this thing. So um, yeah, pretty pumped to have it done. Give you a quick look on some of the little features that we've got going on here. Uh, a couple of little tips. So there's a batch of these Max Tracks tables that come through where this section of that um, pressed bracketry um, protrudes further than the mount. So I had to cut that down, um, tidy it up just so it didn't touch the bodywork when we done that. Um, had to do that on all four corners, so keep that in mind if you do get one. Uh, you will have to do that. So um, yeah, you don't really want that thing rubbing on your bodywork. That's all good. Um, I decided to go a little bit bigger on the bolt holes too. So rather than running the five mil bolt holes, I've run six mil, um, all stainless, and I've put the security brackets on there, just for a bit, bit of peace of mind. But I do have the, um, I've got the nylocks on the inside as well. Um, plus I've used automotive grade um, sticker flex on all four mounting points as well. So once that goes off, she's not going anywhere. It's bloody sturdy as. Um, yeah, so I had to just adjust these brackets too, just to make sure that it was nice and square and level on the car. Um, but yeah, all Stano, powder coated, bloody good stuff, eh? Good thing. Probably the only little bit that I'm a bit not happy with is the angle of that bracket there is not perfect, which, yeah, it is what it is. Didn't really want to go messing around with it, but um, yeah, probably something they, they could work on, but that's all good. Other than that, bloody good thing. Um, oh, that's the other thing I've done. So I'll just put a little bit of EVA foam on there. Um, might deteriorate over a little bit of time, but uh, easily replaceable. I might put some 3 m backed insertion rubber or something there, just a little bit sturdier. But yeah, it does flop around a little bit. Um, once that goes on, so now that insertion rubber's on there, it's nice and sturdy. Those clips go in nice and easily. So that thing don't bounce around now, it's bloody solid. But other than that, yeah, she's bloody. Good thing, guys, must do on a troopy, I reckon. First thing you do when you pull up to a campsite is um, crack a cold drink, whatever that may be, um, and you're always looking for somewhere flat and square. So um, yeah, now we have that, pop them down. Two latches. Bang, there's your table. Um, probably one of the key things when you're doing it um, is just making sure that, because this is this like, section here is quite flexible, like it kind of pivots, pivots in that way. So um, when you're doing it, you just need to make sure that those pins are guided nice and square and even around that, that, um, that entry point there. So when it does open and close, there's no resistance. It's not trying to clunk on there. But yeah, it's pretty easy. Me and the old fella done it a couple of hours. Um, obviously making sure that we did put the um, cold gal primer in there as well. When we drilled those holes, just don't want any rust coming there. Get all this wharf out, clean it all out so there's no ferrous material in there that's gonna rust and cause issues. But yeah, other than that guys. Max tracks table install, righto. Getting prepped up for it, so we'll give that big girl a bit of a clean up. Get all that dirt and grime and stuff removed off that bodywork. Uh, ready for that table install. Give it a nice old shemmy. Make sure she's all beautifully clean. Make sure that when we uh, go to sickerflex that thing down, that there's nothing inhibiting that uh, adhesiveness on the sickerflex. It's not going to try and push back on us. Uh, once we get inside, uh, then we can start removing that internal trim work. 
just taking our time, making sure that, that we're not going to crack any of that trim. It's pretty flimsy, that cardboard trim on those troopies. So um, if we can try and use one of those uh, trim removing tools so we can get right up underneath that button and pop that thing out so it's not going to try and crack that cardboard on us, leave us very disappointed on that front. But um, a lot of that stuff's going to get replaced anyway once we uh, do the fit out. So it's not a um, game changer if we damage any of that stuff, but it's always nice to make sure that we don't damage any of it. Um, yeah, so once we get those popped out, that'll give us a nice clear access um, into the rear end of those mounting uh, bolts on that Max Tracks table. Just trying to figure out where we're going to fit that table up, give us a good idea of where we're going to put those bolts in there. Um, on that Max Tracks table there, I've decided to go for the 6mm bolts instead of the 5mm bolts. Um, so I have decided to just open up those mounting holes just a little bit to that 6mm, just to allow those bigger bolts. So once we get in there, we just put some masking tape over the bodywork just to give us, just to make sure that we're not going to um, damage any more of that paint than what we need to. Make sure we don't scratch anything when we go um, measuring things up. So what we need to do is just um, 310 mil. Measure that from the rear end of that troopy from the brake light. Um, once you've got that 310 mil measurement. Uh, there's a ridge line which you can see running across the troopy there. Uh, mark down 25 mil from that mark there, that ridge line. That'll give us a good baseline for that, uh, yeah, basically that right hand rear lower um, bolt hole. And it's the outer bolt hole, not the middle. So the, the very rear bolt hole, that's what we're measuring for. So keep that in mind. Uh, once we get that, <clears throat> measure twice, drill once. So I've got the old fella there, he's bloody drilling the big hole for the first time. It's a bit awkward actually because I set it up for him. So what he's going there, he's a bit confused, but what's going on is he's trying to figure the phone out. So there's the first hole, that's awkward. But what's happened is I had it recording and then he's realised that he stopped recording and he didn't capture any of it and now he's a bit confused and he's like, oh, I'm just going to put this phone down and wait till he figures it out. <laughs> and uh, once you've got that rear end, so what you need to do is mark down 25 mil from that uh, ridge line again. So do that front and rear on that masking tape. Uh, that'll give you a bit of a guideline as to the height. So once we get that rear bolt hole fitted to the troopy, um, then basically the max tracks table holder will tell us where that hole is going to be. But if we can get the height right, then it should be pretty sweet for when we put the table on there and get it uh, measured up. So now I've measured that height we can just run that that pencil across there. That'll give us that um, consistent height from front to rear. Then we can put that Max Tracks table onto the uh, Troopy. Nice and carefully. That's why we put that masking tape top and rear because it is all stainless steel, that table. So it saves you jiggling around and, you know, putting potential scratches in that troop carrier. So just put a bit of um, masking tape on there just to stop you from scratching it underneath where that table's going into. And yeah, I get the fact that you're um, drilling holes into the side of it, but you know, we still are looking after the thing and you know, putting rust preventative on it, making sure it's sealed properly. We just don't want any crap going there, you know, it's a feral investment the big rig so anyway once that um that's what we're looking at now so we're just trying to get that aligned the height aligned correctly 
once we get that height aligned correctly, then we can run that other drill in there, set that front middle hole. Um, once that drill, now that's drilled now, it's basically, that's the height, that's pretty well most of the stuff done. So once you put that bolt in there, then all you gotta do is just um, muck around figuring out those top bolt holes, secure that, um, and then you can pretty well just, yeah, buzz it all, all together. But <clears throat> this bit's a little bit tricky because um, once that bottom section is um, set into place, there's still a little bit of wiggle room on that top bit. It can move around, it can flex a little bit. So it's a little bit fiddly now just to make sure that we do nail it in the right spot. Um, it's pretty critical this bit that we get that bang on because then when the table goes up and down, potentially can foul on that latch, which is obviously not ideal. So um, when you're doing that measurement, you can just put a little bit of a pen line on the inside of that bracket on that masking tape to tell you exactly where that line is. But safe to say we nailed it, thankfully. <laughs> So once you get those bolt holes done and you're happy, you can just run through and smash out all those 12 holes. Um, the four first ones are the critical ones, but then you can just do those, obviously, the rest of them. Um, there is three holes per um, corner that you need to do. So once you get that done, um, clean all the swarf and stuff out of those holes, front and rear, make sure it's all nice and tidy. Then just get some cold gal, uh, which is what we've got there now. So I'm just using a, um, like an earbud, one of those cotton buds, just use that. Just soak it in that cold gal and then just like push it into your hole and then just basically saturate that hole with that cold gal you know, inside and outside the body, just making sure that it does get a really good seal there. Um, yeah, once that, you, you need to make sure that's sealed, basically. It's, you know, you don't want it rusting from the inside out, so... Just make sure you get a nice coating of that cold gel on there and it should be happy days. Once you've got a good coating of that cold gel, uh, then we're, once it's set and dried, you're pretty well ready to um, put some of that, like the automotive grade uh, Sikaflex around those holes. So you just don't want to put too much around those holes. Just put enough to um, get a decent spread once you put those once once you put that mount on there. So once it all squeezes together, um, I was a little bit lucky with how we ended up doing it in the end. Once we uh, fitted it and mounted it up correctly, it basically put just a nice little bead around that mounting face. So you probably don't want too little. So there's a big gap there and then stuff gets caught in there and potentially causes problems and then you don't really want too much. So if you get too much in there, obviously it's gonna just, you know, spread out way too much and look ugly and potentially droop down that bodywork. And if anyone knows what sicker flex is like, yeah, pretty hard to get off. <laughs> So, um, yeah, just a small amount around those holes. That way it'll squeeze into the holes, make it nice and waterproof, um, and then give a good bead or a gasket, I suppose, through that mounting face. Keep it nice and sealed, and then obviously that, uh, that table's going nowhere when you, once you've got your 12 screws in there. But um, this is a little finicky bit, so just be nice and steady. Try and get this, on, this thing on there, because... If you're jittering around, you're gonna bloody push that sicker flex around and potentially get it down your bodywork. So yeah, just take your time. Make sure you nail that hole. Push it straight into it. Put a bit of faith in your offside. Make sure he's not gonna bloody <laughs> smear it down the side of your bodywork. But um, it was a little bit finicky to get that first one in. But once we got that first one in. Um, yeah, she pretty well went in without a hit. So just continue on, fit all your bolts.
Just be nice and careful. So we haven't got those top ones in yet. We're just making sure that it's not going to come back and hit that uh, sicker flex and then spread everywhere. So uh, once you've got those two bottom ones in, you can just slowly uh, move across that top one. One in at a time. Old fella's going to push up that table now to put a bit, a little bit of pressure on that um, top mounting hole. Once he does that, I can uh, buzz back around, jump inside the car, put that nut on there, and then secure that. So another little trick too, instead of using the nylock nut straight away to put these initial bolts in, we end up just using the standard bolts. So there's no resistance with the nut. So you can just buzz that in onto the um, bolt head, pull that tight onto the sicker flex. Um, that'll hold that uh, table mount against the car and the sicker flex um, nice and sturdy without it wanting to move. Um, but then not prolonging that process you know, while we're doing the install to try and get that nylock nut on. So yeah, once we do the middle bolts on all four of those corners, which you can see there, um, and we're happy with it, now we're just pushing all the rest of the security bolts in um, and then we'll go back through and then replace all those those um, standard nuts with nylocks to yeah, can, uh, basically finish off that securing process of the table. Righto guys, table's on. Time to put those uh, Mac 2 Max tracks straight in there. Test it out, fits beautifully, that tail end first, and then you've got that lever that comes around from the front and then secures those tracks into the table. Uh, that does have a little locking mechanism as well, so you can run a padlock through there just to stop any thieves coming to try and pinch them. But um, yeah, pretty happy with it, looks good, eh? The Max Dave. Tracks table install. As I said, I'm bloody happy with it. It's a good thing. So, um, yeah, can't wait to get out and use it. And, uh, yeah, bloody ripper afternoon to fit it with the bloody good thing. Anyway, until the next mod, catch us later. If you like that video, guys, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell for upcoming videos. Cheers. Mm.